Shabbat, Minhag, or Mitzvah. Hi, I'm Bobby. Hi, I'm Wendy. And it's Shabbat. The same Shabbat every week. You know, every single week, she says, again, must we do this again? Listen, I'm getting ready for dinner. We're having chicken soup. How about a nice tomato basil? Oi, 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 always the questions. No tomato basil. My grandmother made chicken soup. My mother made chicken soup. We're having chicken soup for dinner. Why? Because Why? I mean, really? Does it say anywhere we have to have chicken soup? No, it doesn't. But it's tradition. We have to have the chicken soup. It's a mink hug. Oh, all right. Can we do something else different than, like, parsnip in the chicken soup? You want parsnip in the chicken soup? No, I meant, like, really different. What else do we have? Brisket. Again. Again. I love brisket. This girl has so many questions. She's going to make me crazy. You know what? Daddy always said if you ask enough questions, someday, someday you're going to know the answer to all of them. My grandmother made the brisket. Mother made the brisket. If you don't like the brisket, we can have a nice roast chicken instead. How about a leg of lamb? I saw a leg of lamb in the, in, in the butcher's store. You know, they have nice leg of lamb. I go down there, I run real fast, we'll make a nice leg of lamb. Right, the McGallis is next door. They can have leg of lamb on Friday night. We're having brisket. Mom, come on. Just complain, something different. Complain, complain, complain. <sighs> All right, so what else? You want have? string beans instead of carrots? I can do that for you. Oh, chick. Okay, so we need to get the table set. Could you ask your brother to come and help set the table? And then we need to get the candlesticks on the table. Now, you see, Mom, the candlesticks, the candlesticks make sense. That we're supposed to do. You're right. That's a mitzvah because we're supposed to, we have to light the candles on Friday night. Okay, what else do you need? I need the challah. Okay, we got to do that. And I need my kippah. No, you don't got, I talked to Rabbi Ken. Rabbi Ken said you don't really have to cover your head when you light the Shabbat candles. That's just something you do because you think you're supposed to. You see, give them a little education and they come home from Hebrew school with this. Are you sure? Uh, that's what Rabbi Ken said. He said you don't have to do it. What else do we need? We need the challah. Okay, I got the challah. Yo, he also, you know what? I haven't checked with him, but I'm going to ask him. I wonder if we really have to cover the challah. You know, we have all these wonderful traditions in our family, and you're trying to change every single thing. She wants lamb for dinner. She doesn't want chicken soup. She wants tomato basil. Oh, my gosh. A little bit of difference would kill you. You know, just go get your brother, please. And all right, table. I'll get the brother. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> I think that one was 